don't look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you're easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. Now, what I'm going to cover in this reaction video, y'all, is this something that's very unthinkable and crazy. There are two apartment complexes, predominantly black. You got different races in there, of course. But um, it's been taken over by a Venezuelan gang, um, illegal immigrants, from my understanding. What I'm going to show you first is a live robbery of these individuals who are in gangs trying to rob somebody on a ring camera footage, okay? And um, they are posing as Amazon delivery um, workers. And then we're going to get into news footage, and then we're going to get into um, some people commentaries about the situation that's going on right now. So hold on one second. And this is not to sway you to vote Democrat or Republican, because there's going to be some knucklehead who thinks that. No, I'm just giving you the facts. Let's get it. Hold on. As I put on your screen. One second. Got to cut this down and... Boom. All right. Let's get it. Okay, that's the ring footage, okay? of what's been going on. Now, what I'm going to show you now, I want to also inform you before I show it to you that the uh, residents of these two apartment complexes have been ordered to evacuate the apartment complexes because of the gangs that have taken over and who have set up shop inside of the apartment complexes. So a lot of residents don't have money. They have a hard time finding a place to stay, but they're claiming to be able to help these people with a voucher. And they don't, they don't believe it. So let me prove this to you. Like I always do. I love to prove what I say, because there's always some knucklehead who just be waiting for me to mess up. So let me go ahead and prove it to you so I can laugh at them. Let's get it. Many outgoing people, many of the residents that we talk to here simply say they have not had enough time to find more permanent housing and they're really caught in the middle this morning i thought there would be some compassion maybe a little bit of an extension to help these people find somewhere to go they put some paperwork on our doors saying if you find a place to go we'll pay your deposit in first month's rent i bet you a hundred dollars to a dollar Nobody has been put or placed or helped find somewhere to go. Now, the building's management says that the problem stems from gangs that have uh, pretty much overrun the entire building and taken control of the building. They say it's not the code violations that the city claims. Man, some sad news out of Aurora, Colorado, that I've heard early this morning that a Venezuelan gang has taken over an apartment complex. In that area what's making what's making this situation even more messed up is the fact that the local authorities and plus the local media in colorado is saying absolutely nothing about this as someone like myself who used to live in colorado and have a lot of fun memories there those people in that area do not deserve what's happening to them right now the only reason this is even happening in the first place is because the lack of there's there's no that 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 border the whole border crisis it, uh, thing going on it's insane now this has led to an entire apartment complex being taken over by immigrants or should i say illegals <sighs> this has really just rubbed me the wrong way because had our commander in chief jim crow joe and his partner in crime cackle and kamala were actually doing their jobs and protecting the American people by closing that southern border off and telling those people who want to come here illegally to fuck off, this would not have happened. For every single one. I'm going to tell you, there's some truth in what he said because what we, I did a video not long ago about um, a person, but it, the person wasn't illegal, I don't think, but uh, they came over here, you know, and I had no issues with anybody coming over here. I just wish you come over here legally. I had no problem with anybody coming over here. Just come over here legally. But um, the person was getting over $14,000 in food stamps and had a balance of um, just cash money of four or $5,000, okay? That money should be given to the American people. 
All right, I, I really believe that people who are really who are really struggling. Now, this is true. Everything I'm proving to you is true. Now, before somebody come in here and say everybody ain't like that, I know not all people who are Venezuelan are gang bangers. And stuff. I know that. Just like all black people are not drug dealers too. Okay, now some of y'all need to get out y'all emotions, man, and just listen to the facts. This is not trying to make you feel one way or another about anybody or one group of people. This is just putting the facts out there so you can see it for yourself. Those are apartment complexes being taken over by gangs by illegal people okay it's like that nino brown new jack city when they took over the quarter but they're taking over two now if they don't if they're doing that now imagine what's going to be happening later in the future if we don't get this under control okay let's keep going one of those individuals in the world colorado that are, that might watch this video please remember this when y'all go to the polls for those of you down there that plan on voting Please remember this when you go to the polls, man. Okay, let me show you something there. All right. More and more information from the Jeremy Hill Show. Hope y'all doing all right today. All right, let me go ahead and pull up some more news footage. More news footage. And then we're going to get to the people who need to talk about this. Hold on. Let me get it back where it was started at. Right here. Now, check this out. Again, this is not trying to sway you to vote Democrat or Republican. It just is what it is. Police officers arrived to the scene here at this apartment complex just before 7 a.m. carrying out evictions. And now dozens of tenants who used to live here are now looking for a place to stay. You can see just the red and blue X that are on these apartment doors. And that's just a signal that this place has been, um, that, that they have already carried out the evictions, that this place has been vacated. And now uh, the cleanup begins here. Now we watched as code enforcement and police officers went door to door to to make sure that each of the apartment was cleared out. Piles of trash, they're being cleared out in the parking lot. We showed you that a little bit earlier, but the city of Aurora, they are also paying for this trash to be picked up. So right now it's just kind of a waiting game for a lot of these tenants. They tell us they're not really sure what's going on, but they're upset at how the situation is being handled. You can see there's a lot of activity going on, a lot of children. Uh, police are just here in the area. They just got here not that long ago, but it's unclear how they'll be moving people out, how they'll be taking them to the hotels. A lot of activity going on here right now. Man, man, man. It's all real life, Jack. Now, let me go ahead and give you some of these um, people who are going to talk about this as well. They're taking over whole community. Hundreds of people are being Thrown out on their ear because of a gang tank o takeover. Ain't that something, y'all? Ain't that something? Now, let me go and uh, put a man, a Latin American man on here. So you won't think it's just black men saying this. Because we get that a lot. Hold on. Let me um, put him on there. All right. Let's get it. I told you America wasn't ready for the Latin American criminal. Right now, as we're speaking, there are two apartment complexes in Aurora, Colorado that have been taken over by Venezuelan gang members, right? To the point where they told the landlord, bro, you come around here, man, we're gonna take your life, we're gonna take your family's life, right? Landlord scared, landlord go to local law firms and they say, no, we could do about these squatters, because it's squatter laws, bro, right? He says, man, try to contact the FBI. FBI say, hey, my man, that ain't our problem, right? The Department of Homeland Security said, that ain't our problem, bro. The landlord is just like, yo, what the hell is going on? What do I do? Bro, these dudes are collecting rent on behalf of the landlord in the building. And every single time somebody moves out of one of the apartments, they're bringing in more uh, Venezuelan migrants into it. Talking about they're patrolling the building with guns. Like, what? And they are taking the landlord's money and they are patrolling the whole apartment complexes with guns. This is like a mafia type of thing. It's crazy. America? No way. That shit it sounds like like sign out of a movie, bro. Right. No freaking way that's happening right now. Imagine being that landlord, bro. He probably called the bank like, hey, yo, yeah, man, uh, the Venezuela migrants got your, your mortgage payment. It was on the Venezuela who? You owe us that money. You better pay up, bro. There's nothing he could do about it either, man. Because if he try to do something about it, he's going to get locked up. <laughs> oh, yo, yo, I'm sorry. A lot of y'all don't like this, man. But if you're still convinced that the USA don't need a motherfucker like Trump, you gotta be fucking crazy, man. Trump is the only one that's gonna be aggressive of an old man. So come up with him and be like, all right, everybody get the fuck out, man. Kicking doors down and shit. Sending everybody over there, man. Deporting everybody. <laughs> At this point, man, it's needed. Whether you like Trump or not, whether you are a Democrat, it don't matter what you are, man. 
Uh, shit is getting fucking bad, man. And if you think it's not going to affect you, just give it enough time. Give it enough time, man, because it's only starting. I agree with him. It doesn't matter if you're Democrat or Republican. Just think about all those families who are being displaced, all those children who are being in danger because these people got guns shooting at people and like that. They're going to be selling drugs. They're going to try to prostitute people, dollars and stuff like that. It don't matter if you're Democrat or Republican. And like he said, and I agree with it, if you don't think it's bad now and you don't think it's going to impact you now, just give it enough time. OK, I believe that. I seriously believe that. So something has to be done about this, y'all. So I wanted to cover this. I don't think y'all knew about it, but I think it's very interesting, man. A whole gang took over two apartment companies. Like I say, New Jack City, all in real life. New Jack. If you don't know what New Jack City is, go watch it and watch Nito Brown. Nino Brown, Wesley Snipes played that role. And they took over an apartment complex made into a big old drug house called the Carter. Mm -hmm. Little Wayne talked about that too. <laughs> well, anyway, tell me what y'all think about this in the comments, man. Do you believe this? I I just gave you the proof. It's truthful, but it's just the audacity of it. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Anyway, y'all take it easy now. I'll talk to y'all later. You hear? Yeah.